fluorinated compounds in relation to fast foods. Now, a lot of you that have experience with fluorinated compounds know these are nasty, nasty, dangerous substances to biological organisms. Now, we're not here to debate the health effects or the negative health effects of so-called fast food. We're just looking at the adding insult to injury, the chemical, uh, I don't want to say poisoning because that sounds like there's intent, but the chemical adulteration, adulteration of fast food with fluorinated compounds. Nasty, nasty chemical compounds. Let's go begin right into the public citation title as follows. Excessive use of fluorinated chemicals in fast food wrappers. Now let me back up a little bit too. It was a voluntary, uh, I should say, discontinuance of fluorinated compounds from major industry. And this took place between 2000 and 2015. However, they're back again. Why? We only could speculate. The grease-proof packaging, again, at this title was extensive use of fluorinated compounds in fast food wrappers. The grease-proof packaging, the non-stick, holding your burger and fries may contain potentially harmful fluorinated chemicals that can leach into food. Actually, a lot of them do contain. Exposure to some PFAs have been associated. Remember, this is just a partial list. You could do an hour-long show just on the dangers of fluorinated chemicals. Kidney, to uh, kidney, testicular cancer, and other cancers as well. Thyroid cancer, immunotoxicity, immune suppression, low birth rate, and decreased fertility, just to name a few. Children are especially at higher risk for the health effects because their development bodies are more vulnerable to the toxic chemicals. And here is the kicker. Approximately one third of children in the United States consume fast food every day. One third. So about one third of the children may be exposed to these fluorinated compounds daily, which is scary because they bioaccumulate. It's not like you're exposed to once and then the fluorinated compounds leave the body. No, they hang on for quite some time, as you'll see. The chemicals have an especially long half-life and take many years before just 50% of the intake leaves the human body. The chemicals don't biodegrade. They do not naturally degrade. Going to the study parameters. Fluorinated compounds in U.S. fast food packaging. DOI citation. Funding participants. That's a hefty list. Funders. National Science Foundation and Silent Spring Institute. Study methods. Collected 400 samples or 400 plus samples of food contact papers, paper board containers, and beverage containers from fast food restaurants throughout the United States and measured total fluorine using induced, I assume that means gamma ray emission, PIG spectro uh, spectroscopy. And the samples were collected from a total of 27 fast food restaurant chains, including, I'll let you read the following because I don't want to get sued. Results of the materials tested. These chemicals were found in 50. 56% of dessert and bread wrappers, 38% of sandwich and burger wrappers, and 20% of paperboard. Previous studies have shown that these PFAs can migrate, contaminating the food, and when consumed, accumulate in the body as we stated. Now, I'll go a little bit further into the research as follows. Upon the results of the study, researchers reached out, to, you'll, you'll enjoy this, to get each of the fast food chains that have been sampled to see if they are aware the packaging being used contained fluorinated chemicals. Only two of the 27 responded. Each stated that they believe their packaging was free of PFAs, like they really checked. One went so far as to state that they had received verification from their supplier. But the study showed that both, only sadly only two of the 27 respondents that actually bothered to respond, had tested positive for a substantial amount of fluoridated chemicals, leading researchers to believe that some chains may be unaware of what's in their packaging or simply just do not want to know. The sources, this is what they speculate. While much of the U.S. production of PFOs and PFOA was phased out between 2000 and 2015, these compounds are still produced in other regions of the world, so it's possible these wrappers being produced outside the U.S. could be coming here. Some food packaging approved by the US FDA is labeled POFA free, but still contain shorter chain PFAs or long compounds or perfluorinated subunits linked by either group or even recycled papers, which they don't know even the health effects of that itself. Now it also again can be coming from, as I stated before, recycled paper that already had these fluorine compounds pre-existing. What the researchers hope to get out of the study, the positive note in the study, is they don't want to admonish these food chains. What they're hoping to do is that these fast food chains can take the simple step of using healthier non-POFA alternatives 
uh, such as wax paper or whatever. But again, this is something to keep in mind. If you're going out and eating fast food, probably best not to have in the wrapper. Just one extra layer of protection that can help as opposed to harm. And again, uh, possibly go fast food, some of the local chains that end up using wax paper or other papers besides POFA type containing compounds. Uh, maybe a much healthier alternative, because trust me, you don't want these things in your body once you read what they actually do to the body. Again, Dr. Channel signing off. I hope you find this information of use. And as always, thank you very much for listening. I'll catch you all in seven days. Catch you then. Bye.